Hello guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Once again I'm Greg and this is the Starting Eleven show. Of course we've got Villa, this one's a bit tough because we are under new management. Duncan Ferguson's in as a caretaker manager which means we've got to look at a different system to what we had under Benitez. We've got to look at a different set of favourite players. What it makes it a little easier is that we've got a near clean bill of health. Alan's in contention. Delph and Davies are the only two players uh, we should look at being out. Of course, Awobi's out, but that's because of AFCON, not injury. The only way I could start to look at this was to go back to the post-Marco Silva days and look at the last team that Ferguson put out when he was caretaker manager. That was a 0-0 against Arsenal. He played a 4-4-2, which I think he, he tended to favour during that whole period. Um it's something that got the fans on side a bit. It's uh, It gave us a bit of stability when we were coming off of the formation and a shape that hadn't been working for us. And we actually have quite a lot of that personnel still around. He had a back line or favoured a back line of Holgate and Keane. That's where I might change things a little bit. So let's start in goal. Why wouldn't it be Pickford? Right back's more difficult. Patterson looks like an obvious choice, doesn't he? It's a, the Rangers connection. Young Scott at Everton. Makes you think, could there be some sentimentality? He likes a passionate player, but I just think this one time he might go with Seamus Coleman for experience, just as his, his first game back in, just to steady the ship a bit, have the captain on the pitch. Uh, but I think we will see a cameo from Patterson under Ferguson, probably even in this game in the later stages. Centre-back partnership, if we can, now that we have proper full-backs, it'd be great to see Godfrey as a centre-back not being forced out um, and I'd like to partner him with Mina. I think those two are our most competent central defenders. Keane had an absolute stinker in the cup. Holgate seems, you know, he's, he's been off for quite a while now. So I'm thinking that's our best centre-back partnership. And at left-back, let's go with Mikalenko, of course. Uh, as much game time as possible under his arms can't help. I mean, it would hurt. It, it, it just hurts, doesn't it, that it's not... Luca Dean in selection because Head Benitez have gone just a little bit earlier than maybe he'd be around. Or maybe the wheels of change have been in place for a while and Mashiri wanted rid of him. Uh, maybe it was an economic decision. You, we, we never know these things. If we're looking at a midfield partnership, Ferguson did actually use Delft quite a lot in his caretaker role first time around. Uh, obviously, he's not in contention this time. If Alan is fit, then I think he plays, and I think he plays next to Decore. Decore on the right side, so he can make up for Coleman a little bit more. Uh, you know, he's got the legs for it. Then who plays out on the left and the right? There's one point of contention. I think Gray is, of course, one of the two players. I'd put him out on the right. But does Townsend come in, uh, stay in, or do we have Gordon? I think if it's Ferguson in charge... I'd like to see him go with Gordon. I think he likes to see passion. He likes to see young players who have got Everton in the DNA. So I think maybe that's where he'll go with this one. Of course, Townsend was rushed back into the cup injury-wise, so it might make sense to give him a bit of an extended break at the team anyway. And he's a good, a good option off the bench. Then finally, we get to see the two up top, which will be again, as it was back in 2019, Calvert-Lewin and Richarlison. And, and for me, that's when... Calvert-Lewin really started to flourish, you know, in that front two with Richarlison. And then, of course, Ancelotti just made him a superstar by making him that player that stayed between the posts. But I think we really started to see his career going an upward trajectory when he was being played in that front two under Duncan Ferguson the first time around. So I think that's the team for me. Pickford, Coleman, Mina, Godfrey, Mikalenko, Decore and Allen in the midfield with Gray and Gordon either side. And then Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin. Up top, sorry if I'm sounding very breathy, I've just got over COVID, um, so I'm still trying to get my breath back properly. Do we think that team's good enough? Do you think that's what Ferguson will go with? I imagine we might see Patterson for a while, Townsend for a while. Um, we'll probably see a couple of young guys on the bench as well. Do we think that's good enough? Let me know. Hope to see you guys next time.